Okay, so the next two things we're going to talk about immune deficiencies, right? Uh, nutrients that cause immune deficiencies or deficiencies in the immune system is direct and indirect, right? So they can have a problem. We're not getting enough nutrients, some of the nutrients, whatever they may be, and so they're directly affecting the immune system or they indirectly affect the immune system, and those two distinctions. Direct effect in the immune system is defined as uh, primary activity within the lymphoid system, part of the immune system comprised of a network of conduits called lymph channels, lymph vessels, that carry clear fluid called lymph, and the structures are dedicated to the circulation production of lymphocytes such as spleen and tonsils. So here's the, here's the thing, right? The blood flows through our body. Uh, five minutes it takes blood to circulate our body, right? Now it comes back via the veins, but about 85% comes back via the veins. So another 15% roughly comes back via the lymph channels. That's the, the channels that are in our legs and our lymph nodes. That's where things get swollen when we're fighting it. That's where infection gets into our bodies. Because our blood is sterile. Even our arteries and veins should be sterile. Now the lymph system is where the body tries to get in. The pressure is different and they're much more porous. So it's easier for tissues uh, to get in and have problems with the lymph system getting infection, cuts and whatnot. So uh, that's where our body has the defenses already, the lymph nodes, and they store B cells there to fight infection. So there's a direct effect in this process that we'll talk about. All right, so I know it's confusing, but uh, lymph channels, lymph system is a big thing that we have that we don't pay attention to. And so we're gonna talk about anything that directly affects that uh, in the immune deficiency category. How do you avoid that? Proper nutrition, how do you do that? Whole foods, greens, vegetables, right? Don't eat the processed foods, don't open a package. If you can eat whole food, it's better. And when you need to, maybe some supplements. We'll talk about those too. All right, thanks for listening. Dr. Jack, over and out.